Okay, you're rolling, so you gotta turn on the sound. Uh, you gotta hit the red buttons on those other things. Hit, hit the red buttons and make sure they're rolling. You can't just rolling. touch them. Uh, sometimes you gotta hit them. You know, like do a good button press and make sure rolling. the numbers. The, the numbers are going. Okay, numbers on both of them are rolling. Yes. Okay. Mark. This is uh, the Nintendo Radio Show, and today my subject is uh, guns, and uh, my thesis is uh, guitars, not guns, okay? But I love guns myself. I was a good shot, and I was a good swimmer, and these were two areas of my success in sports and in the Boy Scouts. I was just a great shot, and I almost blew my foot off. But at any rate, uh, well, okay, one of the terrible things about modern society is that you got all these people running around with guns, and they watch too many movies, and they have uh, sort of a twisted idea, and they're not, they don't have outlets for their rage or disappointments. And so they shoot a lot of people. And they're mass murderers. So I believe that a lot of, when you get down to it, it really isn't about the gun. And the limit, limiting, limiting guns is, you know, has always been uh, an intention of the law and limiting guns to people that are more likely to cause mayhem, like, you know, people who've been arrested for armed robbery and sentenced to jail. Of course, when they get out of jail, they probably got a lot of enemies and they need to defend themselves. So you take their guns away and they're helpless and they get murdered. And, and the whole thing is, is terrible. But education, in all cases, uh, is the uh, determining factor in the creation of a uh, civilized society. The, the ignorance, ignorance and stupidity not, do not go together. And specifically, you can have people who are intellectually challenged because of brain damage and all like that. They just didn't get it genetically. But when they're brought up with good character uh, and taught that uh, there are ethical uh, reasons for, uh, to act the way they act, and, and the more you act, you get, as an ethical being, the more rewards you get internally, even, sans, separate from any outside gifts. You're rewarded by your own goodness, okay? And uh, in, in those cases, it's pretty simple to figure out, I mean, what more you really need to know other than to do unto others as you have done unto yourself. In the meantime, uh, as, as, you know, you got young people, young people, young men in particular, are unsocialized early on. You know, they're just not, they're unsocialized. They don't, they're not civilized. Uh, civilized people you know, work for what they get. That's probably one of the main bottom line, act, 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 you know, attributes of a civilized person is that they really do believe in uh, working to get what they want, not be, they're not, they're not oriented towards the life of a thief, okay? We can uh, discuss that ghost of uh, civilization that sometimes is awarded to people only simply by inheritance, you know, and so often those people act as if they're civilized and have the clothes and all like that, but they're not in their hearts truly civilized. You know, they get the benefits of civilization out of inheritance. You know, there are three ways you become a king. Uh, one is you inherit the kingdom. Two is uh, uh, usurp, usurpation. 
you you conquer the other king. And the last one is you have such a vision that you've communicated to other people in your speech pattern example, you are are elevated to that uh, amongst your people. You are elevated to the leader, the, the king. A good king is a good thing, tried and true, and nothing new. We all ought to think as if we are kings all the time. Maybe, you know. Sometimes you're just a dude. I'm sorry. At any rate, uh, when you just get real basic about things, uh, I can say that for a teenager, what do you want to give them? Okay, do you want to give them a gun or a guitar? I looked at that thing, uh, documentary about the, the, uh, the band The Sparks, and the look in the guy's eye was just the same as that nutcase who uh, killed all the kids in uh, Newtown. And, and the guy and his brother, now there's another uh, moderating influence between the two. They had something they wanted to do together. And they had, this kid in Newtown was lost and alone. He was a lonely kid with guns. Not a good combination. Okay, but I love my gun, and I love my guitar, and it's a good thing I got the guitar, because I can play it more often, than I can shoot my gun. But now, I feel like shooting my BB gun. Camera, come along, and get behind me. Oh boy! Good shot. That's great. That makes me feel so much better. I feel fantastic. I really feel great. <laughs> oh boy. Sometimes, sometimes I get all wound up uh, writing, you know. And there's nothing else like it. But I keep the guitar here. You know. You see, gun, guitar. A man's life is complete. A young man, his life is just complete if he has a gun and a guitar. But, you know, some guys, you know, guitars are not.